change is inevitable. Huh? Change is going to happen anyway. Huh? But if you can make a change, huh? you can do it now. Huh? Because time, huh? time is winding up. Huh? So God from sight. Huh? When I was little, huh? when the pews were blue, huh? in this church, huh? when they had the black rail, huh? my grandmother used to sing. Huh? Put some time in the payday uh, uh, is coming after a while. Uh, why do I mention uh, that payday is coming uh, after a while? Uh, because there's another type of change. Uh, there's some of us uh, that have received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, and when we have the Holy Ghost, uh, that was a change. Uh, and why that change is important? Uh, we were war and ransom, huh? We were held hostage, huh? And there had to be a payment, huh? Now, uh, another definition of change, huh, Is the leftovers, huh, of, of payment, huh? It's downright, huh? So, uh, when we were left up for ransom, huh? And when there had to be a payment, huh? When nothing else could fail, huh? When nothing else could help, huh? It was love, huh? Oh, 
The change is not necessarily the physical one. The change has to start in your mind. That's why I said, let this mind be you, which is also in Christ Jesus. They said, preacher, how do we do that? He said, be not the phone. Thank <laughs> you. 
for why he was in the same predicament. He said they laid me here, but nobody can put me in. Nobody will put me in the pool. Some of us, we're waiting for the water to change. We're waiting for the water to get troubled. But Jesus, mm, God, Jesus came back. And Jesus said, what would you have me to do for you? And Jesus, he said to him, take up that bed and walk. The fact that Jesus came around, he brought about a change. So right now, my father sings the song. He says, Savior, I'm calling you. Do not pass me by. So open up your mouth. Call on the name of Jesus. And I declare a change. Call on 